I was sharing with our, our people uh, because two weeks ago, remember in the news, and sometimes things happen in the news that help us to see things or give us insight if we're really watching. Absolutely. And I don't know if, if very, very many people caught this. I wanted to say something about it and do a little uh, two minute uh, prophetic update that I own, you know, just a little oh. video blog. But I got very bus busy doing it. But the, the Boeing 777, that that uh, the engine blew yeah. burned, you know, caught fire. Do you remember that? Did, yeah, I don't know if anybody it. said anything about that to you, but it's a 777. Now, seven we know is an important number. Jonathan Kahn brought out that when the stock market fell, it fell 777.6. He said, that's a sign. Now, I was on Wall Street the day that mm -hmm. happened. I was there in New York on Wall Street when it fell 777. I was walking down the street and saw these guys walking down the street coming out of uh, the stock exchange with the, just these forlorn faces. And I went, something has happened. Mm -hmm. And I and I when I got back to my room in New York, I had my dad there for a Father's Day gift. Uh, we went, I think it was in September when we went later. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, something has happened. Flipped on the television set and saw 777, I think 0.6 or something like that. And I said, that's God. Something wow. has just happened with God. Well, this past two weeks ago, the Boeing 777, they started announcing, they said it exactly that way. I said, something just happened. I said, uh, I wanted to get online. I couldn't do it. It actually happened on the right wing. So it was the right wing, the engine on the right wing <laughs> that they said was metal fatigue. And they had to land and they grounded all the Boeing 777s around the world. Now, you know, 777 is very important. I mean, they're thinking the book of Revelation. There's what? There's seven seals, seven trumpets, seven bowls. God does everything in seven, seven days. Uh, you know, you talk about the feast of the unleavened bread. You've got all kinds of days, six days after the day of Passover. You know, all these sevens. I told our church, I said, be careful. Those, and we don't always like to say right wing because we look at it in a negative way. But I would say most of us lean right. You know, we we are. Con Absolutely. If you're conservative, you probably are in the on the right wing, so to speak. And Absolutely. they said the problem was metal fatigue. And I told our church, I said, "Be careful. We are moving into a time where we're the those who are on this side of the belief system are going to experience some fatigue. Watch out!" So and and there, the housing started falling off. Fire started catching on the inside. They're, they're yeah. really starting to get burned out. And I think if you watch people, I'm starting to see all of a sudden over the last couple of weeks, people just seem to be going, you know, it's just like, and it's it's starting to wear on you. I said it's to starting Melody, to wear on you. I, I said to my, my daughter Melody yesterday, I said, how long, how long has Biden been in power? It feels, like five, it feels like five years. And she says, like I think it was like five weeks. And I oh, my God. <laughs> Dear Lord. Five uh, weeks of years. Uh, <laughs> so so I looked at that and, I, and I, I warned them. But, you know, part of this, what we're seeing, I think one of the things that really bugs us, you know, as believers is, you know, the Bible talks about this spirit of lawlessness. And you're seeing it when you pass laws that even violate your own laws, when they violate not only God's law, but your own laws. I mean. Some of the so what's cool. being passed right now, you talked about the freedom of speech at the beginning. That's in the H.R. 1 bill. Absolutely. There's parts of that that set up uh, people who were monitor speech in our nation, which yeah. I told, you know, recently I told our church, don't be surprised. You know, what book are they going to stop with? I mean, they're moving right along, let's say Christian books. And eventually, who knows? Maybe they feel like things in the Bible don't need to be taught any longer because they can, violate certain buddy, vital standards. I, I can promise you, you can write this down right now. I can promise you that the church is going to be accused of hate speech. And the Bible is the source of hate speech. And what okay. they're going to do is because of the hate speech, because we, the Bible takes clear stands on, on homosexuality and, and, and various things that now are offensive to talk about. I mean, for, for crying yes. out loud, you know, the, 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 the the sc scandal of the week has been the royal interview when um, Harry and Meghan, you know, said, you know, th there's racism in the palace. I've got, I've got an adopted brother. My brother Neil is biracial. His, his father was an African doctor. His mother was a Scottish nurse. 
And when he married a beautiful uh, Irish girl called Phyllis. And we used to talk about what color the babies would be with not a hint, not even the slightest bit of, of racism in our minds. My brother is a black fella. My, my, he's married a white Irish girl. I was, we never, my father would talk about it. My mom, we, we, Neil would talk about it because it was so interesting and so exciting to see how beautiful and their two sons, Neil and Christopher, are like models. They are stunningly handsome young men. But there was nothing in it. And what happens is that in this cancel culture we're living in, every little nitpicking thing that they can get you on and they can make a big deal out of it. And, 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 and then you try to explain things. And as soon as you start explaining it, then they'll say, oh, well, I, and, and, and you're worse off than you were when you started. We've got to stop this. Otherwise, America will no longer be America doesn't do well on defense. America is, is a, a forward-thinking, forward-moving, let's-take-the-hill kind of, of, of society. And what they're doing is they're putting all these checks and stops and, and yellow lights and red lights and green lights, and you don't know where you're going. And, and the whole point of it is lawlessness to control those that would abide by the law. It's it's. Okay. The whole insanity has flipped upside down. So the people that stand for righteousness are the ones that are the wrong ones. And the ones that are, that are standing for anything goes. This morning I'm hearing you can't talk about mom and dad. And you can't talk about uncles and aunties because that's wrong too. They are trying to, to, to change a society by evil device. And, and you're, you are so right about lawlessness.